We are creating a combination logo today. And I wanted to share this article with you just so that we can all start being professional with what we do. Not only that, it has jobs. So I want to share that with you as well as let's design this perfect drops logo. Vizme.co, it's a software design company. And the first thing that I wanted to share with you when I'm sharing this blog that I found is that they are hiring. And when you click on hiring, you're going to go and see different kinds of jobs, especially for us designers. And then you can scroll down and some of the positions there are remote. So yes, that's the one thing that I wanted to share with you the jobs. But other than that, Orana Veladi from Visme wrote a beautiful article that talks about 14 types of logos and how to use them for us as we create for other people's brand or for yourself. And I, I wanted to share this. I'm going to link it in the description below so that we start being professional. And when we are in front of our customers, we are professional and we know what we're talking about instead of just saying, ah, let me design a logo. So with the 14 types that are there, different kinds of logos, most logos are combination mark logos. And that's what we're creating today. A combination of word and icon. So we're creating a beautiful one on Canva. Let's jump in and create it. Have fun with me. Let's create this perfect drops logo. From your homepage, www.canva.com, you're going to find a logo blank canvas. I'm then going to select the canvas so that I can change my background and I can be able to see the design that I'm busy with. So I'm gonna make it a nice jet black. Then I'm gonna go to my elements on my menu and click on see all on my lines and shapes. Then I'm gonna scroll down until I get my teardrop. I click on it once and then I'm going to change the color of this one and I'm gonna search for a blue. I like this blue and then I'm gonna rotate it and then size it to create my beautiful visual. Then I'm gonna drag it to the side and then I'm going to change the color and make it white. Then I'm going to duplicate that and change the color to blue. This is the time I need to change it to blue. So I'm going to align it on top of the previous teardrop so that it creates like a layer like that looks like that. Then I'm going to duplicate this shape, reduce the size, and then layer it on top of my design. Then I'm going to change my color blue so that it gives me like a blue design. I'm just gonna slightly drag it so that the drops are aligned. And then I'm going to press L for line in order for me to create a line. And I'm going to reduce the line and make it a thin line. And I'm going to duplicate that line so that I have a second line just above it. So you always zoom in so that you're always controlling your elements. Otherwise, if you're far away, you can't control them the way that you want to control them. What I'm going to do is to add the name of my company. Then I'm going to press T for text. And I'm going to change my text font to Garrett. It is a round, it's a font that goes so nice with this design. And then type the name of the company. Now you do your final touches and you close up the design. To me, it looks like it needs some sort of a droppy. It doesn't look like a drop. So we're gonna go to our elements and we're gonna look for curve. And we're gonna add a bit of curve so that it shows like a drop of water. I found this one and I just click on it once. Let me show you what it's called so you know it is curved line. So it 
comes as a dark color so i'm going to change it to white is free as well so i'm going to size it and put it on my drop so that it is a droppy kind of a curvy look like that that looks like a drop of water i'm going to just duplicate that and size it and make it a bit smaller and put it on my other drop like that and i'm going to jump to photo p and create our we're going to use a business card because this looks like a, a water company so we're going to put it on a business card for the people we're designing for as we're showing them different kinds of ways that they could be using their logos so i'm going to download it as a transparent background and i'm going to click on download if you don't have canva pro you can trial it for 30 days or you can use remove.bg or erase.bg you're then going to access www.photop.com if it gives you this image editor you just close it and then you are on the main page we are using PSD templates, but you can use one that you've downloaded from unblast.com or freepeak.com. I will link them in the description below and you can go find them and you can download your own 3D template. We've clicked on PSD template and we're going to select mockups. And this is the one I would like to use. I'm going to use the paper logo mockup. And you either double click on it so that it loads or you click on it once and you click on the link that says photo P hashtag. And your mockup is going to load. You're going to go to where it says your logo here and you double click on there and you click on the eye to hide the text on your canvas. And you either click and you drag your logo that you've downloaded from Canva or you could go file open in place and go find it wherever you've saved it i'm just going to drag mine i've changed the color and i've made it darker so that it displays better but it's the same principle that you know and love and you size it you align it alignment is absolutely important in design then you're going to go file save a smart object or you just press command s or control s it changes it to smart object if you don't see change a smart object you skip the step go back then you click once where it says paper logo mock-up and you wait and our perfect logo is designed looks with that beautiful indentation and the drops i absolutely love it if you want to see more of this kind of content, you're more than welcome to go find the Canva course I've designed just for you Canva designers for logos on learnwithza.com. I will see you on the next video.